Honorable President of the 79th Session of the UN General Assembly, Excellencies, Distinguished Colleagues, Ladies and Gentlemen, we have gathered here today to embrace the adoption of a new and ambitious agenda, the Pact for the Future, with the aim to make the UN more effective, credible and relevant for the 21st century and multiple global challenges we are faced with. To achieve this goal, one of the main steps ahead of us is to reform decades-old institutions, bearing in mind that the world has been changed significantly from the moment of the creation of the United Nations. Such includes the Security Council reform, revitalization of the work of the General Assembly, and enhancement of the cooperation with regional organizations, private sector, CSOs, and other stakeholders. In this context, Montenegro welcomes the consensus reached on the outcome documents of the summit and firmly believes that the pact, along with its two annexes, will make a meaningful impact, paving the way to a brighter future for both present and future generations. Another important step towards prosperous future for all citizens is to work together on accelerating the implementation of the Agenda 2030 and Sustainable Development Goals. Along this journey, we must ensure that no one is left behind. It is of utmost importance that we continue to mobilize resources for the least developing country, countries which will enable them to make substantial impact. Dear colleagues, Montenegro was among the first countries to adopt the National Strategy for Sustainable Development until 2030. In this context, I would like to emphasize that Montenegro has already presented two voluntary national reviews in 2016 and 2022 on the implementation of the Agenda 2030. Furthermore, Montenegro is one of the 32 UN member states that has adopted the National Statement of Commitment to the Implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals, which outlines specific pledges and benchmarks to focus on and enhance SDG actions in the coming years. As an EU candidate country, Montenegro places great importance on complementarity and synergy between our EU agenda and SDGs and remains fully committed to making progress and achieving success in both processes. A revitalized EU role of the United Nations in the field of disarmament, an updated approach to collective security that could better prevent conflicts, the, responsibility, the responsible use of artificial intelligence in military domain and the adaptation of UN peacekeeping operations to new realities and threats, including enhanced protection of civilians in armed conflicts, are all crucial for ensuring more just, secure and peaceful future for all. In this regard, we welcome the UN Secretary General's new agenda for peace and his recommendations. Excellencies, distinguished partners, we welcome the adoption of the Global Digital Compact, included as an annex to the Action-Oriented Pact, which aims to ensure that technology serves in the best interest of humanity, along with the efforts to bridge the global digital divide. Additionally, we support increased use of science in policy making in order to ensure that more people could benefit from advancements in science, technology and innovation. We also welcome the adoption of the second annex to the Pact, Declaration on Future Generation, which reinforces our commitment to the meaningful participation of youth in the United Nations processes. Dear colleagues, we firmly believe that global challenges could only be effectively addressed through the joint cooperation of all international actors, ensuring a more inclusive, accountable and effective global governance framework. In this context, allow me to reiterate that Montenegro remains a constructive partner in addressing these global challenges through revitalized and a more effective multilateralism strengthened by closer cooperation, unity and solidarity among countries and reinforced by stronger international institutions. I look forward to working with all of you for the benefit of both present and future generations and I am sincerely grateful for your attention. Thank you.